Even though I'm lactose intolerant, a couple times a year, I will eat something with cheese. Today, I'm gonna be making a three or four cheese lasagna. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Why did I say three or four cheese? It's because it calls for ricotta, mozzarella, and parmesan, but I might add some Dutch cheese or Edam cheese on the top. Let's get right into how we make this. So I did a little bit of the prep work already before I got started. Right now I'm cutting up some jalapenos from the tin. You can use fresh jalapenos too if you want to, okay? So I have some mozzarella, I got a block of mozzarella cheese and I just sliced up some of it. I'm not gonna grate it. I've got some fresh parsley, some chopped up mushrooms. These right here, just put these up at Costco. And I'm slicing up some of these peppers because I want it a little bit spicy, right? So this lasagna uses a little bit more ingredients than the one that I normally make for the family. But I like this one too, so I wanted to make this one for you guys, all right? I'm gonna need onion because I love cilantro, okay? Get that out of the way. And I'm gonna use, I have a three pound tube Yes, a tube of ground beef. But I think I'm just gonna do half because I might wanna do the other lasagna that I do from time to time. Or I might just wanna save it to make something else. Not sure yet. Clean off this little spot right here. Okay. We're gonna dice up some onion it doesn't have to be diced small because we are going to cook it with the meat i think that's good so the two well, we're going to use three cheeses in this okay One's gonna be ricotta, one's gonna be mozzarella, and one is gonna be parmesan. Right, so let's go over to the stove. this in half. Now yeah, this looks like quite a bit, don't you guys think? Squeeze it out into my pan. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of loosen it up in here with my fingers. My hands are clean. Let me wash them again now because I touched the meat. <coughs> okay. We want to put the onion. one a little bit smaller okay get all the onion don't waste anything guys and then to this I'm gonna add some salt pepper and garlic powder. So I'm gonna do one teaspoon of salt. I feel like that's enough. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of black pepper because I already have the jalapenos that's gonna go in here. And I have this hot sauce, El Pato, that's gonna go in there. Do half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Why? Because I don't like too much garlic powder. So that's the beautiful thing 
uh, when you can cook for yourself, you can put what you want to put in there. So now it's time to light the up the not the oven, the stove. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge, guys. And let's put this up till we decide what we're gonna do, okay? We'll just put it in the fridge for right now. Did I put the cilantro? No, let's put the cilantro. And it's not picked from the stems, but it's washed. Put this back. Clean up my onion mess. Don't forget to pick up your potable and dry mix. And remember, I already have everything in here. All you have to do is add butter, egg, and milk. And you don't even have to add the egg if you're allergic or if you don't like egg, all right? Remember, if you're not going to put the egg, you're going to put a little bit more milk. And if you don't want to form them into the circles, you can make them into bars. You can customize them even more by adding raisin or dried cranberries or milk chocolate chips or white chocolate chips or both of them together or nuts. Whatever you want to add, all right? Pick up your dry mix today, guys. Get the meat chopper. Chop it. While that's cooking, we're going to take care of the ricotta cheese. You just want to go ahead and dump this into a bowl. Yes, we're going to use the whole thing. How many ounces is this? 15. Then to this, we're going to add this one egg. So we can loosen it up so it can become spreadable. Okay. I was going to switch out to a spatula, but I don't think I need to. Then we're going to put the fresh parsley. See why I started before you guys? So I can have some of the stuff ready, you know? I think this is done. Set this aside. Probably gonna wash this and save this to put something in it later. Just eat again. So I'm going to get these washed off. This is diced tomatoes. This is the hot tomato sauce. This is a regular tomato sauce. And this is tomato paste. And that's how we're going to make our spaghetti sauce. We're not going to use spaghetti sauce for this one, okay? And even before the pandemic, I always had the habit of washing my tins off. And that's because my mom taught me that sometimes when you see um, rust on top of a tin that you bought from the store, sometimes it's not rust, it's rat pee. Because they used to have a store, so they know. So she says, always wash your tins off. I could just punch a hole in the, the ones that are sauces, but that's okay. My tin cutter or my can opener is working fine. Diced tomatoes. This I can put in now because this needs a little while to cook. This tends to be bitter when you don't cook it 
in the food quick enough, early enough, I should say. Tomato paste. It got a little bit chilly this morning, so I have sweats on, but I might go change it mid-video. Get in there, tomato paste. Oh, you know what, guys? I got to get my, my pot so that I can boil these noodles. Get some water. I'm just going to bring this to a boil so we can boil the noodles. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and put the mushrooms in. And the peppers, okay? I might cut some spinach to put in here so we can get something green in this rich, rich dish. I'm going to put the tomato sauce also, the regular one, and the hot and spicy one. So I'm going to heat down a little. Making a mess, guys. Let me go ahead and rinse these cans out. Grab some spinach from the back. Huh? This part is pretty much done. We want to taste it though. If it's too thick, Add some water to it, okay? We want to taste it for salt and pepper. Well, we know the pepper is going to be good, so taste it for salt. If it needs more salt. Oh, I didn't put this yet. Let me go ahead and put this. Some of this um, diced tomato. Let give it a little more liquid in there. I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt, but all these sauces have salt. Okay guys, so this looks good. We're going to boil the noodles and then we're going to build the lasagna, okay? The water is ready guys, so let me go ahead and toss the noodles in. I'm going to let it go for 8 minutes and then drain it into a colander. And then next I'm going to hit it with some cold water from the faucet. And now it's time to build the lasagna. Usually people lay noodles on, on the bottom, right? Meat sauce first. Oh, it smells so good, guys. 
all right not trying to be stingy but we have to save some for the next layer then noodles Ooh, it's hot I like that these ones have ridges on them they're gonna get all the sauce in it right Ooh, it's hot you're gonna lay one this way let's cut the end all right the next thing we lay down is going to be some ricotta the ricotta spread i'm going to spread it around with the back of a soup spoon Ricotta cheese tastes very bland, but it's gonna go well with this whole mixture, okay? So after the ricotta, we're gonna lay down some mozzarella, and I think I'm gonna need more slices, but hey, let's start. Some mozzarella. I was gonna make a smaller one, then I realized that I don't have really good looking pans. I've frozen ice in the pans before, and they don't look so good. that I took notes guys I'm gonna have to write this in a notebook right oh this looks so good do we have meat sauce again yeah we're gonna need meat sauce again so we're gonna leave some behind okay Okay, so after the Parmesan, more noodles. And this is just gonna be, oh, get this out of the way. This is gonna be two layers of noodles. I had to get it out of the way of that next camera. Ooh, it is still piping hot, guys. So after the noodles, it's gonna be the rest of the ricotta. Okay. Okay. The rest of the ricotta. Right. So I have the ricotta, then more mozzarella. So I need to go slice up some more mozzarella hold on I wanted to buy a bigger mozzarella cheese but it was so expensive it was like seven dollars for the block this is gonna have to make do guys Pull this guy down a little bit. Yeah. Seat a little bit better. So then the rest of the meat sauce. Bet you've never seen a lasagna where the top doesn't have noodles, right? This one, and I'll get some of that red back cheese, but just give me a moment. Oh, well, it has to come with like a big old lump. This is why it's called red back cheese. That's a nickname though. 
Vietnamese, we call it Dutch cheese. But I think it's called Edam cheese. And I think it used to come from Holland before to Belize. But I think Belizeans are now making it. Some people will take off the plastic and just keep this waxy piece right here, right here. And they'll cook it on the stove top to roll the cheese back in it to keep it nicely sealed, right? I've never done it, but I've seen a video on it, right? Just give it another taste. have any though so I'm just putting some butter so it won't stick okay we want to bake it 25 minutes covered oh there's a fly 25 minutes covered and then 25 minutes uncovered at 375 but we're gonna wait for the oven to come up to temperature then I'm just gonna stick it in and then I'm gonna show you when I'm uncovering it okay Okay, another 25 minutes to play. I did eat some on the day that I made it and the top of it was crunchy. Now this is two days later. This is the leftovers. My son Jory came to get some for him and his wife. Still smells so good. So what I'm going to do is heat some of this up and taste for you guys. I'm going to take a little bite before. I'm going to do the lacté today. I'm not going to be brave like the last time. But let's taste it. Y'all saw that. I put a little bit of Dutch cheese on top, right? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> mm. No, there's an easier, cheaper lasagna to do. The noodles, the ground beef, cook the ground beef the way you want to spice it up. Add spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce. Layer the noodles, the meat sauce, cheese, whatever cheese you like. And just build it. But you saw what all I did with this one. I did that ricotta. Oh my god, that ricotta just took it over the top. I layered that mozzarella. I started with meat sauce. I ended with meat sauce and cheese. This is gonna go this is gonna be my go-to always. This is the Beth and G show. I wanna show you what's going on in my backyard. So you guys know that we still have one dog left, our beautiful Cora. She's eleven years old now. October made eleven years. We don't know what date in October because we got her from the pound and when we brought her home, the vet said she was about ten months old and we got her like July of twenty fourteen. So we say she's a Libra. So she's in the backyard running up and down, old dog running up and down at this squirrel. The squirrel is playing games. The squirrel drops its peach from, that he gets from that tree over there. I don't know if the squirrel's a boy or a girl. And Cora's like, okay, you want this peach? Come down. So Joe goes and gives the squirrel the peach. <laughs> then the squirrel runs on top of the fence and Cora's like, da, da, da. I didn't get that shot, but I will get it for you in the future. And the squirrel run up the lamppost and start like cussing Cora out. That's what I'm saying. He's doing it. And Cora's like, okay, we'll turn my back to you because I know where you at though. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's eat. I already took all my eggs. Latte, bean oil, all kind of stuff. We just gonna dive into this. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm.